This is a GCE L level pure physics revision series. In this video, we are going to discuss important physics definitions that you must know before you take your exam. There are two chapters that we will cover. The chapters are Chapter 1 Physical quantities and measurements. Chapter 2 Kinematics. This video is brought to you by Ace with Dennis. Now, learning can be smart not hard don't forget to subscribe and press the bell notification button to stop missing out important updates from us also check out the description area to sign up to our signature course gce l level pure physics full course at unbelievable price it's one-time payment you can study anytime you like anywhere at your convenience you can also easily monitor and track your study with Udemy's system. There is no recurring monthly tuition fees. No expensive intensive revision workshops. You don't have to rush to any tuition centers. You don't have to worry on missing any lessons. Sign up our signature online course at description area now. Without further ado, let's get started now. Chapter 1. Physical Quantities and Measurements physical quantities quantities that can be measured base quantities quantities that cannot be derived from other quantities they can only be measured derived quantities quantities that are derived from other quantities prefixes prefixes are used to express quantities that are very large or very small standard form Standard form is used to represent big numbers or small numbers, especially when doing calculation. Scalar quantities. Scalar quantities are quantities that have magnitude only. Vector quantities. Vector quantities are quantities that have magnitude and direction. Precision. The smallest value that an instrument can measure. Accuracy. The extent of how close a reading of a measurement is to the actual value. Reliability. The extent to which the outcomes are consistent when measurement is repeated more than once. Systematic error. Systematic error is consistent. Repeatable error associated with faulty equipment or a flawed experiment design. Random error. Random error comes from unpredictable changes during experiment. They cannot be replicated by repeating the experiment again. Zero error. Zero error happens when measurement does not start from zero. Reading is shown when it should be zero. Parallax error. Parallax error is caused by the inaccurate positioning of the observer's eyes while taking readings. Chapter 2. Kinematics. Distance. Distance is the total length covered between two points. It is a scalar quantity. Displacement. Displacement is the straight line distance in a specific direction between an object and a specific point. Usually this point is the starting point. Displacement is a vector quantity. Speed. Speed is the rate of change of distance. Which means distance changes over a period of time. The formula of speed is distance over time. It is a scalar quantity. Velocity. Velocity is T rate of change of displacement, which means displacement changes over a period of time. The formula of velocity is displacement over time. It is a vector quantity. Uniform speed or constant speed. The speed is constant, which means it does not change throughout the whole journey. Average speed. Average speed is the speed that represents non-uniform speed. The formula of average speed is total distance traveled over total time taken. At rest or stationary. When an object is at rest or stationary, the speed is zero. It does not move. Acceleration. Acceleration is the rate of change of velocity. It is a vector quantity. Deceleration. Deceleration is used to describe an object as moving at decreasing velocity. It can be interpreted as negative acceleration. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Do you have any thoughts, opinion or experience want to share? Write it down in the comment area. 
We'd love to hear from you. Also, do you like this video? Don't forget to like and share it to your friends. Until then, see you in the next video. Have a great day ahead.